everywhere in order to, you know, just honor their fallen comrades as well as continue putting pressure on the government when it comes to issues of governance. I'm Ashley Mazuri, and of course, we continue updating you, keep on monitoring the situation across the country. So let's start with here in Nairobi, and Jeff Mogire is live for us, joining us from the CBD, if I if I'm not wrong. Mugire, good morning. Earlier on when we spoke, you were on Valley Road and business was as usual. What's the situation where you are? Well, actually, we've done a round a bit. We went to Wayakwe, Udero, and all the way to Westlands and back. Most businesses still remain closed within those areas of Wudero and Waiyakiwe and into the CBD. 90% of businesses within the CBD remain closed here in Nairobi. And people continue to stand by and watch what will happen later because they don't know. The fear of unknown has made so many people not to open their businesses here. On my, on my right hand here, if my cameraman can show you, uh, we have two uh, shops open and that is HH Towers and uh, a hotel here on this side. But the rest of this area remain closed. So many businesses remain closed and uh, it shows you what it means when people have the fear of unknown. This is Moi Avenue, the epicenter of this protest of Gen Z's. It starts here. Always they come here, they meet here, and they begin from here. They march wherever they want to march to. So it shows you how people are afraid to open their businesses. We have seen police officers, we have seen general service units uh, in their numbers within the CBD, but that does not really move them not to do what they want to do, that is protesting for their rights and uh, advocating for what they want this country to be like. So we watch and see how things, because the other early in the morning when we were coming, uh, we moved from uh, within, uh, from Nyayo to the CBD and we saw the military there, but we have not seen the military in the streets of Nairobi. Uh, probably, maybe they're waiting in, and in case they're called in, but they still remain assembled at the place known as Nyayo Stadium. It remains their center of operation for now. But the CBD, uh, as you can see, a few people, fewer vehicles in, businesses closed, and the police officers standing uh, in wait, standing uh, in, in standby mode, waiting to see what happens. This is a lorry of the General Service Unit officers who are here waiting. Uh, to see what happens in the numbers they're here waiting to see what happens later but we're waiting to see uh what happens when the protesters storm the cbds we have met some of them a few of them telling us that they're waiting for the time to change their uniform so probably they'll be in their white t-shirts and black t-shirts advocating and calling for the removal of the government and at the same time calling uh, for the toppling of this government because they don't feel like the government works for them. The president early on Sunday called on the youths not to continue rioting and not to continue uh, uh, doing what we call uh, protesting because something might at the end of the day uh, give in. And that is, he said he's listened to them, he is willing to uh, debate with them on X and uh, we're waiting to see how that pans out. But for now, things remain still calm as usual as we wait to see by 11 midday and up to midday, that's when we'll know what will transpire from then, because by then, the youth will be here in the numbers, and they'll tell us what they really want to do. I've seen a young man here. I don't know why he's hiding behind my cameraman. Uh, come, come. You don't want to talk? Okay, it's fine. <laughs> Thank you. No problem. Are you, you, oh, you have a right of not giving me any opinion or anything you want to say, but this is how the CBD looks like as of now. But uh, from, from 11, probably, to midday, we'll give you an update, Ashley, what might have transpired by then but for now we'll give you another update late in the next like probably 20 minutes of how the nyayo national stadium and the military uh, uh, uh members or military officers who are there staying stretched there waiting for maybe probably a call up into action looks like all right jeff just stay with me because you're in cbd of course maybe have you done a spot check on bus stations I'm aware that some of the children were going back to school today and some parents are concerned. Perhaps, do you know what the situation is like? Very few buses are coming in and out of town. But when we left Westlands a few minutes ago, we saw so many buses parked, not in business. But those within the, business, the Nairobi CBD are picking the passengers they can get and dropping and picking from town and going out of the town. It shows you the numbers are very few. 
So, so many buses have resolved, uh, resolved to, st to, to, to stay parking as they wait and see how things pan out. But for now, very few uh, public service vehicles are operational right now. All right, thank you so much, Jeff Maguire, for that. Of course, we'll be coming back to you a bit later just to do a proper spot check on what else is transpiring in the CBD here in Nairobi. As you've heard from Jeff Maguire, 90% of businesses are closed in Nairobi CBD. Many have chosen to wait and see how the situation will pan out in order to avoid destruction and loss of property. And of course, uh, we continue monitoring that situation. So let's now head to David Mudoka, who is a Long thicker road. Mudoka, earlier on when we spoke, there was just a reduced number of vehicles on the road, but traffic was flowing as usual. And of course, you did mention that apart from the heavy security, majority of those you've spoken to did allude to that it's still early. What is the situation now? Ashley, right now I am at Georgia along Thicker Road and the situation here, just like in the Nairobi Central Business District this morning, is calm. Nothing yet shows that this is a day when protesters in their numbers have vowed to occupy uh, Thicker Road as well as other roads in major cities in the country and sit the entire day to pass a message of opposition to the government. We have noticed that, of course, vehicles are moving into the CBD as well as out of the CBD. As you can see, actually, behind me, on the nearest point to me is that lane that shows vehicles that are coming out of the CBD. And on the farthest side is vehicles that are entering the Nairobi Central Business District. The CBD is about 25 kilometers from here. And uh, just like in Georgia, as well as in other places, before uh, we get to town, protesters have vowed to occupy uh, the road in almost every other place uh, just to pass a message of opposition, not just to the now dropped finance bill of 2024, but also the government of the day led by President William Bruto. Two things that you, however, notice is that um, there is a reduced flow of traffic along Thicker Road this morning. As you can see, the vehicles that you are seeing are going into the Nairobi Central Business District and the vehicles that are coming out of the Nairobi Central Business District are very few. You can actually count them with your fingers, opposed to other days when you see a very huge flow of traffic uh, going into the CBD as well as coming out of the CBD. Now, this could uh, have been uh, influenced and affected by the planned Occupy Roads uh, protest by the demonstrators who have been uh, for two weeks now uh, going and taking to the streets to demonstrate against the government. And this actually is quite significant. This is actually a day when uh, school children are expected to be returning to school from their term to midterm break. And this is actually Tuesday, a day when we expect business to be booming, uh, PSV vehicles to be coming into town and, and to uh, be going into town rather than coming out of town. And so as you can see, uh, the planned demonstrations on this road have actually affected the flow of traffic here. One thing that we have noticed yes. is that um, we've seen a number of uh, lorries of KDF officers uh, plying this particular road. Uh, this stretch is almost um, 30 to 40 kilometers from Thika to the Nairobi Central Business District. And uh, we have uh, spotted a lorry that was uh, going into uh, the Nairobi Central Business District at around Kahawa Sukari. We've also spotted uh, one lorry uh, passing here going into Thika, as well as another uh, pickup carrying police officers on this particular road. This shows that uh, the police officers, in conjunction with the KDF officers, have uh, ensured to uh, vow to beef up security at this particular road. And in as much as this shows, uh, or rather the situation here is an, as normal and as calm as it can be, uh, a number of people that we've spoken to have uh, promised us that it's still early. Ashley, in our previous uh, link, of course, I mentioned that uh, those that we spoke to in Rio have told us that we are to expect some action as the day grows. And so we will be waiting here in Georgia 
is a place that we have to watch closely. Uh, this is one place where the population of the Gen Z demonstrators is quite high. And this actually might have influenced the decision of their member of parliament, uh, that is George Koimburi at the floor of the House, during the debate of uh, the finance bill when he was among few Kenya Kwanzaa members of parliament who voted against the bill. Uh, and actually, he was also among the few members of parliament from the Mount Kenya region who voted against the bill, while uh, his colleagues uh, decided to vote for the bill that was later dropped uh, and withdrawn by President William Bruto. He decided to back the norm. And so, of course, uh, this is where, uh, 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 this is indeed a place that we watch out for quite closely. The population here is high, and as we understand, these demonstrations are actually uh, being spearheaded by the Gen Z uh, demonstrators. Those on the front line have been uh, members of the Gen Z category, and so we will be here just to see how it will be uh, when it gets to 11 and 12 p.m. when we see demonstrations gather steam, as well as in other places along Thika Road. We actually uh, plan to go to Gidurai, one of the hotspots of demonstrations, just to see the situation there, as well as in Roisambu, where last week on Tuesday we saw protesters gather in their numbers.